What is good, y'all? Max Ripper here. We're playing Mafia Definitive Edition 3. Make sure you guys check out my Twitch and Kick. I'm live Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Check my YouTube. I upload Connor on every day, and let's go. You say he's doing all right? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Drug to Sammy's bar. We're gonna do that mission. They made the um orange button. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Trying like a man. Started yeah. selling weed. They calling that oh, and man. you're scratching the paint. Where was I? They call and ask me if I want some. I say show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. And about yeah. a month back, Marty drops me a line and says fast. they're moving in the hair and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing Just off the wrong person. There, you know. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That looks nice That's too, why that. I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way South can go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco. Just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. You get settled in. I was thinking we can go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Well, who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great aunt Beatrice. Everything's like blurred oh, out. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Ooh. I don't know if that's the. What's balloon? Let me turn that off. Hey man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact, she got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> Trying like a dick. Fuck you. Okay. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you mm -hmm. to back down. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Clayhorn. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love <laughs> I would like to make a toast. 
My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! It's just slurp doing nothing. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming Father home James from Father James Bollard. Bollard. Elation. Fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Man, <laughs> whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. <clears throat> the room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. <laughs> Sure did, boy. Yeah, we'll have a look around. Oh, okay, I see it now. Yeah. To show the magazines on the map. What the heck's down here? It's a locker you can't use. What's this? Some painting. Okay. Let's go take a nap. of action. <clears throat> We have two nickels to rub together, now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to... Boy, I'm not warning you again! Have it your way, old man! Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. 
Well, truck's all loaded up. I figure we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Well, the most likely. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. Gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Serving the gumbo. Thanks. Nice to see you. <clears throat> back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got That's a trouble. robbery. Run, Regine! Go, go, go! We're done with you, Lincoln! Sammy's next! Jesus! S'il vous plaît, let me live through this! You boys ought to be ashamed! Oh ho ho! This guy's just slammed. I like the fast pace in this to this. Oh, it's a hex bag. Gotta call Sam Francois and Dean Winchester. Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a <coughs> secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Call them boys. Yeah, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. 
I suppose it is. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. <laughs> they built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. Damn. Gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. I wonder if there's like chapters oh. to this game. I'm gonna be probably making it's parts on each hollow. mission. Oh, I'll see how it goes. Kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. It's starting it's to look like kind of like GTA, where I gotta do a mission and on other missions. Once there's no chapters to it. The, show. the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. <clears throat> All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Haitians are hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite hostilité. Where the heck am I now? You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. I guess this is the same mission, or...? Open the gate for me. Ati bon legba, open the gate. Just yoink them. Just croak, mate. Okay, we're gonna be. Uh, we're gonna try to stealth and get these guys. Um, that guy looks like he's walking that way, and there's a guy in front of me. If I time this just right, should be good. Playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, so got that under our belts. Oh. 
Let's watch this. Oh, Lee, bro. Screw that. And that's the last of them. Shoddy, I'm a handgun. Should have killed that old man a lot. Time ago. Think the boss was worried. Huh? This is bad. That guy's gonna see us. See if there's health anywhere. Um, there's nothing down. Oh, a shot. Ooh. Shit, I'm glad I came down here. There's a guy on the other side of me. There's no loot here. Oh, it's a big area. This is fully auto? The heck? That's broken. Let's go find Baka. Ah, uh, we're gonna redo all of that again. The others going after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Semi, Papa Legba, who been the gate? How do they already know about me? At least check on my YouTube content. Like.
Run away from the circle around. be sick if you have more than one gun. So it looks like I can only kill them here. From here though. That Sammy with involved Marcano, asking to come down on us. Huh? I saw him. Here, here. No, no pain till you know me. Move to the other side. Now they know I'm here. You motherfuckers can't do shit. I'll find him. He won't let me move. This is terrible aim. everywhere. Like when you're trying to shoot stuff from far, it's hard with this little circle. You can't aim for sh nothing. It's like hard to aim at them. Where 
was that guy? Sniper from there. What's here? That he was here. Got no more. Find his ass. We ain't stopping till we find you, bruh. So there's adrenaline shots. in that? Are you kidding me? She tripping. Fucking Haitians. That's all he had in the loop. Where are they shooting at? Got some uh, shotas. Six rounds only. Isn't this guy not a gun here? Oh fuck. Oh, 
I don't know what's better for damage. That's 18. 5 actors, 50 actors. Oh, that one's running a lot better. Okay. I will look over here. I see him! Got something! I'll take the lead here. Oh! or anything anywhere. At least we get health packs like you can hold on to the health kits. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. <clears throat> Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? We came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. 
With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. Damn, you're scratching the paint! My bad. Yeah, anyway, I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plan, dog. Hey, man, oh, be shit. careful. Hey, oh, the giant as I was saying. Freaking so just cool it with your grand plan, dog. Yeah, all right. Turn off the Sammy's, and then we're going to wrap that part up there. Get it fixed. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always <laughs> going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, Pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. <laughs> lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Just square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, we're going to wrap that part up there. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the video. Check out my Touch and Kick. I'm live Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Check out my YouTube. I upload content on there every day at 8 a.m. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.